Hello, good evening. Welcome to the stream. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. We're going to pick up right where we left off last night in the Dane Tower. Um, did a little bit of backtracking off camera. Um, last night when we played, I mentioned, oh, we, we had found a book, I should say, in the book mentioned some of the things needed um, for an upcoming puzzle. And one of the things it mentioned is an item that we had found early in the game and carried around for quite a while um, before getting rid of some of it. Uh, and that was the Monk Innards, which was a bottle of, uh, well, I guess the intestines of, of one of the monks, uh, the race of, of the humanoid race in this game. And um, I realized, you know, I was going to need to go ahead and reacquire some of those. We found a few over the course of the game. Um, so what I did was off camera, I actually left the Dane Tower. I went back to Orc Ogre Castle, where we had found a bunch of those monk innards. Um, in fact, when we first found them, I believe I only took a handful, um, and we left some behind. So I went back, picked some more up, came back to the Dane Tower, um, not quite where we left off last night, um, because we were, we, we had left off in that that passage with the fireballs that were absolutely brutal to the party um, but I stopped right before, when I got back to the Dane Castle, I stopped right before the altar where we're ultimately going to use the golden uh, idol that we found um, but this time we have a batch of monk innards in our inventory and so we're ready to, you know go through the challenges uh, coming up ahead. The reason I didn't put all that on camera is because it would have been a lot of backtracking. It's things that are already on uh, previous episodes, so if you want to go back and see it, you can certainly do that. Um, but there's no sense in wasting more time on camera. So let me jump right in here. And we'll get this loaded up. So for the most part, the party should be just about fully rested right outside of the gate um, where we're going to use the idol. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So last night when we ended, I think we were right here. So I, I left the Dane Tower, and that was like a multi-hour ordeal, let me just tell you. Uh, leaving the Dane Tower, getting the monk in, it's coming all the way back and getting back to this, this point. And here we are. So I believe this room here right ahead is the room with the altar. Yes, marble altar. So we're going to use the golden idol. You place the golden idol upon the mantle altar. So something opened up here. Now it's going to be either, oh, it's this one. I was going to say it's going to be either this room or it's going to be this room. And hopefully that turned off the trap too, because in most levels, using the um, using the idol will, will disable any traps on the level. So hopefully that fire will be gone. But let's see. This is a new area. An entirely new area of the floor. Oh, greetings, brethren of the fellowship. Ye have passed the test of the Temple of Wanderers. The Fellowship recognizes thy ascension as true lords of Dane. Ye must show a token of thy good faith in accordance with thy rank. Will ye accept thy Fellowship dues? Yes, okay. He has done well. So there's still some unfinished business on this level. There's this door here that we've not been able to open. And it looks like there's other rooms here too, which is kind of new. I'm not used to seeing that on these uh, levels when they're completed. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get our spells up. Just make sure we're not missing anything. You know, I've been neglecting to use armor plate almost the entire game. I don't know why. No good reason. So, I'm going to start adding it to the rotation. Casting that scroll last night reminded me of it. And let's 
get Enchanted Blade up to. So I don't want to, you know, leave this level ultimately because I feel like there is more to do here. This door over here is really bugging me. So we'll get to it at some point. Why is that not open, right? This way, the egress. So is it a shortcut out of the temple? Yeah. Yeah, it was. That would have been nice to have last night, let me tell you. All right, so we're not going to mess with that right now. We're not done here. No way. I want that door open. Oh, so I, I noticed this open here. I've not seen that before, so we'll head there. Sorry about that. There's always something going on here at my home. All right. I was about to make a trek all the way back here flip a switch. And I feel like the switch in here might open up this door, perhaps. Let's really hope that uh, that uh, fire trap is disabled. Let's see what's in this chest first. Hmm. Found a key of ascension. One scroll, one potion. Okay. So that probably gets us in here. Let's see what this scroll is. You may notice I've, a lot of things have gotten moved around. Because I did I had to do a lot of inventory management during my off-camera time. Heavy heal. Okay. Merge. I do have a scroll. Let's see what the scroll is. Armor melt. Might come in handy. Let's give that to... Uh, use of that. So is this where we use the key of ascension? And who's holding it? Probably Kyler, right? Oh, come on. A skeleton lord. 
This is kind of new. So if I remember right from reading the book, there was a few things we needed. The monk innards, some sort of ash, which we've not found, and uh, the stone, a gate stone, which we do have. So keep all of that in mind. We are still missing something to defeat this demon or whatever it is. All right, who has the key? There it is. So I don't know what's behind this door, so we're going to play it safe. High atop the great tower of Dane, howling winds blow and blackness swallows the sky like a cloak of perpetual night. Let's see what happens if we flip the switch. Probably take us back down. It did. Alright. Let's explore, shall we? are probably fire crows. No, maybe not. They're taking quite a quite a hit. Fire crows I don't think are this difficult. Man, what are these things? It paralyzed or stoned Sato, one or the other. Paralyzed. Vampire vultures. Yeah, that is new. See if we can burn through it. There we go. Eerie moths. Probably Mothras. Oh, you know, we found this new pipes of. What was it? The Silent Liar. Okay, yeah, we found that last night. Belier to uh, cast Silence. That'll be something that comes in handy. Let's give these guys a good old-fashioned magic missile here. And we'll try to rest and get Sato unparalyzed. Just long enough to get the paralyzation off Sato there. back up. So 
here's another switch. And more of these darn birds. So let's do some of this. Let's hit him with a nuclear blast. I know it's going to burn most of my MP. And it didn't kill him either. That was it's wild. Blades is such a hit or miss spell. Pit of the Demon Spawn. And you see, this is what I'm saying. We don't have one of the items needed to take this on. Ooh, but here's a path down. Let's just take a look. Let's just see. This is something new. Maybe that ash, maybe that item we need is down here. So we're going to use our brand new Silent Harp here. Let's see if it works. Unaffected silence. Well, so it's not a guarantee. Dang apostles, I think we can take these guys. Just some melee. Really, we need to find some bullets for Lulu. So we'll take the level up. All right, let's rest. Just, you know, you rest, you cast spells, you have to rest again, you have to cast spells again. 
one of the only grievances I have about the old school design of the game. But it is what it is. It's a product of its time. We've only got Kyler awake. Let's see if we can do it in one round with a crit. Worth a shot, though. So these guys have some pretty interesting loot sometimes. The various rings and, and whatnot. Let's see what it is. I'm curious. Ring of Resounding. Worth a little money, but... Bat Nichols, or... And so once again, we're going to take another shot at some rest. Clear this nausea. Cast a little manual healing here. There's the monk in it. Let me save before we proceed. And actually, like I said, let me at least detect secret backup, right? How are we looking on other... Enchanted blade. We'll do an armor plate. Probably a magic screen too. I'm not gonna worry about. Oh, another path down. Okay. Oh, look. So we are on the other side of the fire area. Temple of Magna Dane. So if you remember. When we walked down this hall, it talked about seeing bodies, naked bodies, like an orgy of bodies, um, all convulsing and screaming. And there was a voice hollering more and more and more as it was trying to burn us alive. So is that what we're about to walk into? That's the question. I feel like the answer is yes. So we had better get ready for a fight. So I'm going to explore this little little nook down here first. Upon the gate is a gruesome head cast in black iron, appearing like some hideous creature of the netherworld. Atop the forehead of the demonic face is a round opening, perhaps to birth a thick candle. So this is the other side of that, that gate. Through the bars of the gate you spy a distant chest sealed with sparkling glory, no clue as its contents. So back here. So we're going to have to conquer whatever's in the Magna Dane room here. Gonna do another another rest, try to get these magic points up some. And we're gonna see what's beyond this archway. Let's take a peek at the magic points here. I want to see what Dan Danny's only up to 76 there. I want that higher. So we're going to rest again. Bear with me, guys. I apologize.
about to click it too. Every time. Oh, well, this will be easy. Let's see where we're at. Good enough, I guess. Good enough. Let's get all the stuff up, right? Enchanted blade. We'll do armor plate at max. Why not, right? Magic screen. We're going to max that out. And of course, detect secret. You know, why don't we just. Uh, no, that'll do it. That'll do it. All right, let's see what's beyond here. Your eyes bulge at the decadent, obscene pulse of bodies that are strewn about the chamber, ripe with wine and orgasm. And standing in their midst, chanting and foaming, you gaze upon what must surely be the spawn of the devil himself, the Magna Dane. Oh my. Ye have risen high in the house of Dane. Though ye claim the title lords of Dane, ye are not true Dane. And none but Dane may wield the holy power of the High Fathers. But I... Torquesade, the Magna Dane shall make exception. Should ye dare to face the challenge of the spawning pit? The choice is thine. Face the challenge of the spawning pit, or relinquish thy claim and titles in the house of Dane. Dost thee choose the spawning pit, or forfeit thy titles? I don't think we have the items needed for this. Let's see. Thus she has decided, so shall it be. Into the pit must ye throw the bowels of our enemies, we have that, that the blood of their innards may entice the fiend. Into the pit must ye sprinkle ashes of diem, we do not have that, that the aroma of its scent may incite the fiend. Into the pit must ye hurl the stone of gates, we do have that, that the magic of the gem may summon the fiend. Into the pit must ye recite from the book of immortals, that the power of the word may bind the fiend. Then and only then may the spawn of hell be vanquished. Thus is the call of High Father, Lords of the House of Dane. Bring to me the demon horn that rises from its head, and I shall give ye power and riches and knightly slaves to bed. Bring to me the great cornu from the hells that spawn the fiend. And I shall lend you power of Dane, and show thee dark magic obscene. Go now, ye lords of Dane, delve into the spawning pit. Do not return without the horn, whence upon my throne shall ye sit. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So, we know where the, the pit is. I don't know about these ashes. That's the only thing. I don't know where these ashes might be, Becca. So do I, you know, the question at this point is, am I going to do the cheesy thing and look it up, right? Let's just see. So apparently it's on the first level of Dane Tower. Somehow we missed it.
<laughs> Not quite sure how we did that. Am I sure that I don't have this item? I know I don't have this item. But how did I miss it? That's so crazy. And I really don't want to go through this whole level again. But if I have to, I have to. Another cure disease. All right. Man, but that uh, Magna Dane was cool looking. Pretty wild stuff. All right, so let's save. I'm just studying this map here. Looking to see if there's any place in here we've not been in. So what we may do is I may play tonight until we find these ashes. And then I may do sort of what we did yesterday. Are the ashes in this urn? from the floor rests a tiny golden urn. But if I search it, nothing happens. What items do we have that may help? Yeah, nothing there. But anyways, what I was saying was I may find the ashes tonight. Trek my way all the way back to where we were, and tomorrow we'll finish the demon pit. If that's the case, it might end up being a short stream tonight. There's got to be something here with this urn. But I'm just looking at the map to see, is there anywhere else that we've not touched? Extending from the wall of the marble altar, we've been in here. Bear with me just a minute, guys. I apologize. All right. Sorry about that. All right.
let's look again. Make sure I'm. I can't imagine if we found it that I would have dropped it. Very infuriating. I know that the ashes are on this level somewhere. And I want to say there's a fight involved with them. the jungle powders right okay that's what that was about okay so I'm gonna look it up just for the sake of moving this along oh excuse me let's see
So everything I'm reading is saying the ashes are found by defeating a boss in this room. Feel like I'm gonna have to go back and watch my episode and see what I did here and why it is not spawning or what happened to the ashes. Very, very curious. Very strange. I wonder if there was a glitch in the game. Bear with me another minute. I'm going to check a few things. I'm going to pull up my video uh, on my phone from the night we went through this. And I'm going to see if there's anything I'm missing. I apologize. But um, I don't want to waste any more time than necessary. So give me a few minutes and I will be right back. Okay. I see what's happened. And I feel ridiculous. What happened was, it was in this room, there was a treasure chest with a powder in it. And it was a, a powder, unidentified powder. We carried it around. And I just dropped it this morning. When I went through all of this. I want to say the powder is either going to be here or heaven help us right here one or the other that I believe the powder is the ashes that we are looking for so let me figure out how to get back We never identified the powder because I just assumed it was, you know, just some junky powder. Okay, so it wasn't here. Anytime I see things on the ground, I'm just going to... Because I dropped a whole bunch of, of junk. Wow, what a rookie mistake. Let's hope these traps are off. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, come on. Do you mean the powder's not here? I'll find it. I just dropped it. So, I mean, I know it's like, it's, it's right in this vicinity here. Could be here. Bet you this is it right here. Bet you this is it. Let's see. Boom! There we go. What an incredible...
incredible lesson. So what I had to do, like I said, is go back and view the playthrough that I did several episodes ago where you know we explored this for the first time. And I did that to see you know where was I when I should have acquired the powder. All right. So this is the switch for the pit of the demon spawn. So before we go through and do all of this, we're going to get a good rest in. I'm so glad that I didn't have to do something extra crazy. But imagine, you know, if I hadn't had that video to go back and look at, I'd have been lost at least in terms of, of this battle, which is not imperative to finish the game. You don't have to do it. But the completionist in me really wanted to uh, see it through. I can't believe I made that mistake. As someone who's finished this game probably four or five times over the course of my life, I should have known better. But it's been a while since I played. But now we've got the monk innards, we have the ashes, and we have the gate stone. We have everything we need to spawn this this demon. And then I feel like we'll have to fight the Magnadane because the demon has a horn. It mentioned a cornu, which is a horn, and I believe it's actually a bard um, instrument. I think it's the horn that I talked about early on that shoots fireballs. And I don't intend to give that up to him. Oh, are you kidding me? Good lord, man. I'm gonna turn this and we're gonna reload this. These vampire vultures are a pain. Alright, you know what? I think we're probably good. Let me check. Chairman Blade up. Armor Plate up. Detect Secret up. Magic Screen up. I'll be honest, I didn't expect the Dane Tower to give me this much of a challenge. So here we are. The pit is dark. I guess I have to go down here. Let's cast a Levitate. Descending into the pit, you see that its walls are thick with black residue, as if the spit of a blistering inferno. It is then that you recognize the ashen lumps and shoots upon the ground are the remnants of incinerated bones. So one thing I've always refrained from doing during my stream and my playthrough is turning to the internet for answers. And I feel kind of cheesy about doing it tonight, but the reason I did it was because it wouldn't be fun to watch me wander around aimlessly for hours. So in the case where I felt like I had obviously missed something along the way, I did it just for the sake of time and to keep the narrative moving along. Still feel a little dirty about it though. We've made it this far in the game without any kind of cheats or hints or outside help. I guess that's why as of tonight this we're like 43 or 44 streams into this game. It would have gone a lot faster had we had we done that. 
To me, it's a little more fun to wander around and figure things out on your own. So that's why I don't rely on walkthroughs and oh, excuse me, things of that nature. So wait a minute here, where was the... You know what? That. I must have. We must have missed something, and that switch probably fixed it, whatever it was. I feel like dropping into this pit here was a, was a hint to flip that switch. Levitate won't stay up for anything, will it? Plan is here to rest, get the magic points back up. Now that I've flipped that switch, hopefully, whatever it is you're looking for, we'll find it now. does not last long. Thank you. 
so as we walk down the hall, I'm gonna watch real close for any switches or any. Come on, what is this? Two fights on the same square. They are trying my patience tonight. Now I've got a goal in mind, and the constant distraction is irritating. Very irritating. Let's just let's do it again. And now to shake all the negative effects, I have to rest again, which is going to kill my uh, spells. I wonder what the book was. I'll check it here in a second. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it was. Let's see who had it. Kyler. I'm curious. Look at detection. All right, let's get these spells up and going. Let's maybe make some headway. Tech secrets on. I'm looking for anything out of the way. So far, nothing. Didn't we do this last time? And we're right back where we were before. Hmm. The pit of the spawn isn't spawning any. You know what? We're missing it. I'm missing it. I'm at some somewhere. I'm supposed to use these items. And apparently, wherever that is, it's not obvious to me. That's what I'm doing wrong. Instead of descending the pit, maybe I'm supposed to use the items while standing above it. I bet that's what it is. And that'll spawn the monster. That must be it.
You earn every victory you get in this game, that's for sure. So glad I've got that nuclear blast. It makes annoying battles like that so much easier. Alright, so I think I'm armed with an idea of what to do now. I should have thought of it sooner. Once again, let's rest up. And before we take this step two, I want to look at that book one more time because the Magnetane mentioned something about reading an incantation from the book. And perhaps I missed that somewhere down the line. Let's take a quick look at that. Who's got that book? The Chant of Demon's Fall. Innards, Ashes, Stone. The Chant of Demon's Fall. is spawning an encounter. So let's see if I'm right about this. So the monk enters and we use an item. Into the pit you throw the jar of the innards of monk, the blood enemies of the day. Pit, 
you sprinkle the ashes and watch as emerges a billow of cloud of smoke. Stone of gates. Into the pit you hurl the stone of gates. Light and ready to smoke to a white hot fire. All right, well, it looks like here is up from the scorching fire ascends a raging hell spawn, his fists ablaze with globes of searing white flame, and upon his head thrusting the great devil's canoe. Once again, I am summoned to the world of man, trapped by the pit of the spawning well. Come then, ye mortals, face the spawn of the damned. Ye whose souls I shall take back to hell. So I don't know. It didn't give me an opportunity to um, chant anything. So we're going to hope for the best and fight this guy. First things first. We're going to cast Blast on the party. We are going, how do we want to do this? I'm going to conjure. Let me give it a high level ice ball, see what happens. Ice ball did pretty well. Two poisonous dragons is what we've conjured. Can we silence it? So we're going to do a health pull. And we're going to go again with an ice ball. That did pretty well. Wow, that wasn't too bad. In the final stroke of battle that was the great demon corner severed from the head of the beast falling back into the depths of the pit as the spawn of hell bursts into fire of black flame. From outside the gates of the pit you hear the cry, Quickly, my children, take the horn. So I believe it said the horn fell oh. through here. In the charred and blackened pits of the Hellspawn, you spy the great devil's smoldering cornu. Cornu of demon spawn. That is definitely a barred instrument if I've ever seen one. From above, you hear the hysterical voice of Torquasade, the Magnadane. Kill them, seize them, bring me the horn. It does not sound as if the Magnadane will be keeping any bargains. In fact, he sounds rather rabid and out of control. All right, so let's do this. That horn is mine. We're keeping it. And now I feel like we're going to go kill the Magnadane. Pretty sure that's what's coming next. Screw it, we'll take oh. the 
Let's rest up. I don't need magic. I feel like we're going to be in for a pretty big fight here. I'm getting ready for anything. Death, ye of Dane, bring me the horn, and the children slaves, whores, and fathers of Torskasade, Torsk, Torsk the insane lord of all, all Dane, the Magna Dane, attack as if driven by the tumultuous fury of all hells. So this isn't that bad, really. We have Magna Dane, a high father, two Dane apostles. Could definitely be worse. We are going to attack the Magna Dane straight on with our melee attackers. Lulu is going to use the Corner of Demon Spawn. Sado is going to cast a Conservation's always fun. Let's just keep doing it. Danny is going to use a little nuclear blast, as much as I can muster. See how it goes. Death Wish. Ooh, thankfully, our magic shield protected against that. Magna Dane is gone. Dane is down, thank God. Cap. 
priest spell. Which one is it going to be? Let's go with word of death. Walking among the mass of obliterated bodies, you come across the twisted corpse of the fallen Torscade, the Magnadane. You pause. In a slight nod, wonder silently, what now shall become of the mighty House of Dane? Now, how do I get in there? Because I want to get in there. Let's take a look at what we've found. Let's take a look at our loot. Robes of enchantment. Robes plus one, robes of enchant more. Okay, so. Let's see what this is. Amulet Protection Magic. Okay. So the question is, how do we get in this door? Because I want to get back in that room. And then there's also the matter of this chest down here. Suddenly, you detect a slight shimmer and a glint of metal ring upon the finger of the deposed and headless Caesar. Well, maybe this ring's the answer. Let's see what this is. Ring of Demons. Cursed Ring. Special Power. Conjuration. Man, that's a blue ring. Not the entrance to the uh, room here that I was hoping for. Upon the gate is a gruesome head cast in black iron, appealing some hideous creature that is a thick candle. Inserting the demon cornu within the black iron head, you stand back, swords and spells at the ready, but nothing happens. Did I lose it? Maybe it's from the other side. This is just getting to be just insanity here. Well, that didn't take care of it.
If I lose to this fight after all of that, I'm going to be extremely, extremely upset. This tower has been possibly the most annoying level in the game thus far, and I thought it was going to be a very simple level. neck from sitting here. Alright, gotta take care of this poison. I've got three characters poisoned. Save and rest. I'm going to try the horn on the other side of the gate, and regardless of the effect it has, that is going to be where we stop tonight. We've essentially finished the level, but I really would like to see what's in the Magna Dane's room. And what's in this chest? Okay. So let's use the horn here. Nothing happens. All right. So we're going to reapproach this tomorrow. There's something missing. There's there's something. And I feel like it ha might have to do with the horn and the ring. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, this is where we're going to stop tonight. An excruciating slog um, through this, this dungeon thus far. More than you know, because I had to go through it all again off camera. Um, but we're almost done. I'm going to be glad to be done with it. I'm going to be glad to move on. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, got a lot done tonight. Pretty cool stuff, too. Um, really cool stuff, honestly. So we'll see what becomes of this tomorrow when we go through and we figure out how to open this gate, get into the Magna Dane area. Should be good stuff. But uh, thanks for hanging out, tuning in, and I'll be back tomorrow night. Everybody have a good evening.